It's extraordinary that after more than 25 years, you can finally soft mod a PlayStation 1 and play backup games using nothing more than an exploit game and a PlayStation 1 memory card. And in this video, I'm going to show you everything it takes to get this done. And it all starts right now. Hi, Blaine Locklear here. To level up your video game hardware and software through restorations, repairs, mods, product reviews, and other video game content, do that by subscribing. Let's get your PlayStation 1 modded up to play backup games. A quick note as we get started here. Japanese model NTSC consoles and the original 1000 model in the United States, the one with the RCA ports in the back, are not compatible with this process. And you'll need a PlayStation 2 with a Freemic boot card in memory card slot number 2 so that you can put the PlayStation 1 memory card in memory card slot number 1 and the USB drive in the PlayStation 2. That way you can get those files off of the USB drive onto the PlayStation 1 memory card. If you need to learn how to set up Freemic boot on a PlayStation 2, I've got a video link for you in the description below. For this process to work, you'll need a product called Tony Hacks. It's available on the GitHub and linked in the description below. This product is designed to let you use a save game on your PlayStation 1 memory card and allows you to use an exploit game like Tony Hawk 2, 3, or 4 or other games that are being added frequently. You can then launch the save game in order to play your backup. Download the zip file for the most recent version of Tony Hacks from the GitHub. In the downloads folder, you should have the Tony Hacks zip file. Right click on the file and select extract. You'll need to extract this file in order to be able to get to the inner contents and select the ones that you need that are appropriate for the game that you wish to use. Once you've extracted the contents of the zip file, make sure you go back and delete the zip file in order to eliminate clutter and confusion moving forward. In every exploit, there are two files minimum that you need to copy over to a USB drive formatted in FAT32 format. Go ahead and go into that folder that you just uncompressed. You're going to see a lot of what looks like gobbledygook, but let me show you what to do in order to sort this out. Each one of these things, generally speaking, is a save game file. You'll need to identify the game number for the game save file that you want to use, and I have a link for how to do that in the description below. So in this case, I'm going to mark this file. This is the one for Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2, and that's the exploit game I showed you at the beginning of the video that I'm going to use here in this process. And every instance of this, no matter which game you're using, requires that you have the file with the five nines and Tony Hacks listed in the name. Once you've grabbed the file with the five nines and Tony Hacks in the name, and the save game file for the game you intend to use, copy both of these files. Then go over to the USB drive that you formatted in FAT32 format and right on the root of that USB drive, right click and select paste. Now you'll have the exploit file and the save game file saved to your USB drive. At this point, you're done with your PC. You can go ahead and close out File Explorer, safely eject your USB drive, insert it into your PlayStation 2, and make sure that the PlayStation 2 has both a free McBoot card in the number 2 slot and the PlayStation 1 card in the number 1 slot. With the PlayStation 2 powered on, the USB drive in the USB 1 slot, the PlayStation 1 memory card in the memory card 1 slot, and the free McBoot card in the memory card 2 slot, scroll down until you get to Launch Elf and select it with the X button. When Launch Elf, well, when it launches, press the circle button you'll be taken to the list of storage devices available to you. Here the current selection is highlighted in red. Use the D-pad to scroll down to mass, that's for mass storage device or in other words your USB drive. Then select it with the circle button. You'll probably see a whole bunch of stuff that was either on the drive before that left some kind of trace or hidden or system files on the drive. The only things you're interested in are the two files that you copied over and they are all the way at the bottom. Use the D-pad to move the red highlight down to the bottom and select each file individually by selecting it with the X button. Then press the right one button. It's the right shoulder button, not the trigger button. You'll get a pop-up menu and it should already have an arrow on copy. Select copy with the circle button. To get back to the list of storage devices, press the triangle button on the controller. This will take you back to the list that you originally started out with. From here, scroll up to MC0. That represents slot number one on your device, which is where you should have your PlayStation 1 memory card. Select it with the circle button to go into the PS1 memory card. 
from here, press the right one button, again the right shoulder button, and it should already be highlighted on paste. Select paste with the circle button to paste the two files from the USB drive over to the PlayStation 1 memory card. Once this process is complete, you are done with the PlayStation 2. You can power off your PlayStation 2, take out the PlayStation 1 memory card, put it in your PlayStation 1, put in your exploit game, and power on your PlayStation 1. If you're getting value from this video, make sure you subscribe while you're here. We have an incredible community of gamers and you belong here with us. Smash the subscribe button and ring the bell. All right, let's get back to it. Make sure the memory card on your PlayStation 1 is inserted in memory card slot number one or the one on the far left. If you put it in the one on the far right, this isn't gonna work. Make sure that you also have the exploit game loaded up in the system that you intend to use. In this case, Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2. You can skip past all of the introductory scenes by just pressing the X button until you get to the Tony Hawk main menu. At the main menu, you'll see this circular menu interface. What you want to do is use the D-pad to scroll right and left until you get to the option for Create Skater. Then select Create Skater with the X button. This is actually going to launch the exploit from the memory card. It'll tell you that it's unlocked the CD drive and that you should go ahead and pop out the Tony Hawk disc and put in the burnt disc that you intend to use. In this case, it's Parappa the Rapper. I burnt this disc just using the standard BenQ file format and using IMG Burn in Windows in order to cook the disc. Put the disc in and close the lid. It will initialize the new CDR that you've put in. And when you close the lid, you should hear the drive spin up and start to read your burnt disc. Once it reads the disk, it will not restart the PlayStation. It will go ahead and launch the disk immediately right out of the exploit. So when you don't see the boot up logo for PlayStation, don't worry, this is part of the expected behavior. As things are being finalized here, it's amazing to me that you can go from completely powered off to running the full exploit to booting a CDR with your game on it in about one minute and 15 seconds. This is incredible work. And what's even more amazing is that so far the developers of the Tony Hacks exploit have not found any games reported to them that were not compatible as burned discs through this process. Absolutely extraordinary. Once your game's up and running, it will stay running until you power off the system, at which point you will need to reinsert your exploit game and run the process again in order to start up your CDR copy of your game. Next up, check out this video here. It's shown on screen in the desktop browsing experience and linked in the pinned comment and description below. Thanks so much. I always enjoy our time together here on YouTube and I can't wait to see you there in the next video.